Hi everyone, it's Dev again. Today is May 29th and I just wanted to do a quick garden update again. The video that I just uploaded today was from the 27th and that night I actually planted out my peppers and my tomatoes in that bed back there. And so I wanted to show you that, hopefully. I can come over here without bouncing around too much. I need a gimbal. There's no mulch on the bed right now, and I'll show you why here in a minute. But these are my Texas tomato cages. I've got three of those. My tomatoes are in there. And then I had 12 jalapeno plants. And so they're staggered here. I pretty much do square foot gardening. And I, I can actually get a lot more plants in there than that, but that's actually all that we got from the garden center. And this is plenty for right now. I'm not doing a full garden. Normally, this bed would be packed and this bed would be packed full, but this bed is going to be deconstructed because it's falling apart. And I'm going to take some of the soil and put it over there in the catio. And hopefully I can find some sod to put in there because I cannot grow grass for the cats. So yeah, I need to put mulch on the bed still and miraculously the squirrels have not started digging yet. If I leave it without mulch, oh no, no, they did. Uh-oh, look. I don't know if you can tell or not, but they're digging, they've already started. Thankfully it's not around the plants though. They have a tendency to come and dig around by the roots. And these guys need water right now. This is my hose. This is how I water it for now because I got rid of my rain barrels. I've got a filter on my spigot to filter out the chlorine and all that. And look at my strawberry bed. Like you can't really see the soil. <laughs> I need to thin them out. These are day neutral strawberries. Both of these beds are day neutral strawberries which means that they'll have a, a harvest twice in one season. And over there in those beds, I had June bearing and ever bearing strawberries and they've been taken out. But these were day neutrals. And I can't remember, I think these are seascape and I'll edit the video and I'll put what they are in the edit. But yeah, they'll do it twice a year. And they're making flowers already. Which means I'm going to have berries pretty soon. Oh wait, I already do. And these guys escaped my screen. Here's the screen. These were runners that came up outside of the screen. I've already got berries growing. And because they're not protected, I, I might be able to tuck them back in. That's what I did over here, kind of, until somebody came through. I think the rabbits are coming in and trying to get in here. But I kind of tucked that one back in the other day. And another leaf has escaped. See, something's happening. I think there's an animal trying to get in here. That's great. <laughs> but I just noticed... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all these. Yeah, we're going to have strawberries real soon. But these actually were transplanted from a bed I had out front. It was a it was a pyramid bed that we had created. And I didn't like it out front, so I transplanted all the strawberries out here. So there was two or three different uh, varieties all mixed in through here. And I just, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> as long as it makes strawberries, I don't care. But I wanted to show you, look what happened. I told you that the mint is very invasive. He's right over there. And look what happened. It made its way over here into my strawberry bed. This is mint. And I did not plant mint over here. He literally made his way from over there and crossed over here. I don't know how he did it because it gets mowed back so it must have just been 
a very little bit that's been making its way, growing over here. And I found a little tiny sprig coming out the side of the bed. That's a little tiny mint. But most of this stuff down here, these are wild strawberries and stuff. So I'm not quite sure how that happened. But the, it's very invasive. I love it, but it's invasive. Look how big and beautiful it is. And it even hopped the doorway. And he's growing up over here. Excuse the poor building. We need to do siding and stuff. But he's over here on the other side of the doorway. So yeah. Mint will get totally out of control if you let it. Alright, so... All I have left to plant are these three tomato plants. I'm growing spider webs on them right now. They need water too, but I don't want to water them yet because today I want to plant them out. And usually the drier soil is better when you go to plant them out. You don't really want wet soil. And so it's been raining and all that fun stuff. So I haven't had an opportunity to plant those three. It's two days later, so I've got to clean this out. That's a pizza stone. Like I said, I was just planning on deconstructing my garden. I was not planning on doing this. So I've got to take that mulch out and then add some more soil to it. I've got some soil that I can add to it. It's raised bed uh, container soil. I've got to take the weeds out and everything. And this little guy, this is a violet that was actually growing right here in this depression and it was pretty small but it was so big and beautiful compared to the violets that are out in the yard because they get mowed down and everything but this is about how big violets will get if you leave them alone and you don't mow them and I just thought it was so nice that I took them out of, took them out of that wine barrel and or whiskey barrel and transplanted them in here because I didn't need this pot for anything else all right, you guys, that's my update for today. I will talk to you again tomorrow, maybe. See ya. Hey, so I forgot to tell you guys why I don't have mulch on that garden bed. Now, that's my mulch right there. And so after I got all those plants in the other night, it was really late at night, but I was gonna still mulch them. I came over here with my wheelbarrow and I cut open this bag, and this is a very old bag of mulch. It's been sitting here for probably three or four years maybe, and it's gotten all wet and everything, and it's just been through the ringer. And I cut it open, and I got my, my pitcher, and I was starting to scoop it out into the wheelbarrow, and there were like a million ants that were here, and they had their little eggs. They were carrying around little white eggs and stuff, and they just went everywhere when I cut this open. And obviously, I did not want to transfer all those ants to my garden bed. So all this that you see is diatomaceous earth and grits. And so here we are two days later and I don't see any ant activity. I did see one big one earlier crawling over it. But for the most part, all those, they were the little sugar ants, the little piss ants. Which I'm going to upload a video about here soon. But they're gone or they've gone deeper in. I don't know. So I'm going to have to start digging through that and see what's going on. Because I really need to get the mulch over there onto that garden bed that has the peppers and everything. And this strawberry bed that does not look very good. But like I said, these were three different varieties of plants of strawberries. And that was the one I had the most of. And it has really good runners. And this one, I only had a few strawberry plants to put up in here. And this variety doesn't make quite as many runners. And again, I haven't really maintained it. I just let it go. And so I should have been the whole time controlling where the runners went. Like just now, about an hour ago, I saw this runner and he was just kind of flopping out around. And so I've anchored him down. I didn't anchor him, but I kind of pushed him down in there. I moved the mulch out of the way and pushed the little bud down in the soil. 
and he'll take root right there. And so if I do that strategically, I'll take a runner and just, you know, strategically place the tip of it where I want a new plant. Like there's a nice big runner and the end of it's over there and I don't really want it over there. So I'm probably going to take that, the end right there and move it closer away from the edge and that will form a new plant. All right. So that's that. Talk to you guys later. Bye.